feet of loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My reimagined loon. Oh, yes. He's going to be conformed into something <laughs> reimagined. That is great. He was yes. good before, and it's going to be, be even better. Well, next. <laughs> I don't know about that. But anyway, so folks, we're really excited because we yes. are bringing you something that we've reimagined. We yes. are partnering with Kroger, Yay. and we are going to be working with leftovers. Yes. We're reimagining some leftovers. Yes, exactly. So let's tell them it's a mouthful. We're doing yeah. our leftover <laughs> pot roast sliders and leftover mashed potato cake. <laughs> Can you believe that? So, all right, so everyone loves oh. doing a, a pot roast, right? Yes. We have a recipe, we have a link for it on the site, so hopefully you've made it, it's delicious. Yes, you've got so our, good. our best mashed potatoes, so that's fabulous. It's yes. Sunday, we've had all that great. Now, what if you've got all of those leftovers, what are we gonna do with it? Well, we're gonna have run down to our favorite uh, grocery store of all time, Kroger, Kroger, and we're gonna pick up as many ingredients yes. as we can. Actually, so we're gonna do cheese this go we're around. We're going with cheese. We're getting all cheese. Look cheesy. at that. So some we're... Parmesan cheese, which I love, love, love. Yes. Grated Parmesan, and then some baby Swiss. That's right, right. Yes. So we're using private selection baby Swiss, and, and then Kroger then brand. Kroger's for, for so for the uh, for the potato cake. So yes. let's get started. Let's go you through guys, this. It's so good. It's really, I, really. I, good. I, I I prefer this actually. <laughs> I'm telling you, it really steps up. The, you you may okay. Anyway, you're gonna be uh, making pot roast just to make this. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> totally. so let's start oh. off with these amazing look at potato these. Cakes. Don't those look like silver? dollar potato cakes these are uh, I could eat these all day I know so I'm gonna tell you how we did so first of all <laughs> we, we we're gonna pull out our mashed potatoes and we're gonna start off with just a couple of cups so you just dig out a two couple cups. of cups I'm a couple of cups two cups a couple of <laughs> couple of cups of mashed potatoes and you put them in a bowl okay Got it. and then we're gonna get our fabulous uh, Kroger grated Parmesan, yes, Parmesan cheese that we cheese. talked about and I you know depending on how cheesy you like it he loves it, I extra like it cheesy. cheesy I do about three tablespoons and you just dump that right on top of the potatoes Wonderful. and then we need a little bit of binder going on here so we're going to do a quarter cup of all-purpose flour and then we love uh, to add a little bit of added savory to it uh, the mashed potatoes remember have already got salt and pepper and all that and butter and all that good stuff <laughs> so we're but we're going to amp it up a little yes. bit we're going to add a quarter cup of chopped chives yeah, exactly and you need some green in there it yes. does and then a little another boost of flavor and yeah. then we're going to add an egg that's going to really continue to to bind it up and right. then you just get a nice spoon and up. you stir all that up now it's depending on how your mashed potatoes if you like them super creamy or if you don't like them creamy at all it's going to affect the cons consistency so it's really important that you that we're going to that dust, flour <laughs> that we dust these pretty well in flour yes. so i have another bowl that i set up in flour or put a bowl uh, filled with flour right. and then get your hands good and floury and you make sure your hands are clean because you're going to get them in the food here yes. okay so then just grab you about a 10 or no like a golf ball size of potatoes and then get just a little more of that flour and then just coat it and then yeah. start to pat it into a little bit of a, a disc now these things are not meant to be like super perfectly round and circular they're right but they when they cook they really do form like perfect yeah, they're shape. totally yeah so you you do that and then you're going to put them on a plate and then you just keep doing that until you've used, so you've uh, used all you your potatoes yeah then now if you have an, uh, a non-stick uh, skillet yes. that helps use that use your non-stick skillet out here okay yes. so when and then I, we're going to use something i really love yes which is bacon grease bacon grease so <laughs> if you have ba if you're like us and you save your bacon grease great if not you can use butter you could even use some oil yeah but um i, I dump a couple of tablespoons in there over a nice you want to kind of pipe in hot like medium high heat and then um once then that melts there, yeah. and then you just you can use your fingers just to layer that and they may kind of wad up a little bit. Once you put them in the skillet, just kind of flatten them a little bit with your, with your hands. Yeah. And then now here's a here's a key. So they're gonna feel they're not quite they don't firm up quite as much as like pancakes do. So it's really important that you don't flip them too soon because if yeah, you flip them too soon, yeah. they're gonna fold up. You wanna on make you sure that those edges are getting brown. Get them nice and brown. And that's yes. usually anywhere from two to, you're gonna wanna like, I wanna flip them. Wait, don't. just let them, you'll see the edges are getting nice Have and brown. Patience. Have patience, please. <laughs> and so then you, you flip them and they've got that beautiful uh, brown. <laughs> and then they look like and they just these, look which like is, that. it's everything within me right now from not chowing he's, down. He's literally right starting to inhale. Okay. <laughs> 
So now right, what, so we we're did, gonna... so what you can do, you can. there's a couple of ways that you can, so we just made these, so they're gonna stay warm yeah. for like 15 to 20 nice minutes. Pop it hot. Um, if you wanted to, you what you could do is you could then just uh, put a piece, a big old piece of foil on a baking sheet, place those uh, potato cakes on the foil and then fold the foil over right. and put them in an oven at a low temperature to keep them warm. Right. Okay. But or we're gonna just do what I did. Or and these also <laughs> microwave really well later if you want to heat them up. Okay. So now we talked midnight. Tonight. That's right, if you will. <laughs> so now we're going to talk about these incredible sliders. These are the star of the show, and I'm telling you, people will talk about them forever. Unbelievable. One of the most important ingredients besides the pot roast, which is warming up, um, I've and besides the cheese, the cheese. Let me tell you first of all, what, what, while we're talking about this, what we did is we pulled our pot roast out of the, out of the refrigerator. I pulled off the lid of the Tupperware and I put it in just a little baking sheet. We just need to reheat it, right. cover it with foil, and then put it in an oven that's like set at 350, just to warm it up for about 15, 20 totally minutes, good. okay? Now, these are caramelized onions. Oh, one of my most <laughs> favorite things in the entire I, world. I, they I, are just incredible. So, slope, slope. now yep. this is something that you can, you can and you should do well in advance because they do take a little bit of time to, to make. So they start off with, I start off with three yellow onions that I've cut and then I just put them in a bowl and then I put them in a nice large skillet uh, that, had, that I've uh, added two tablespoons of olive oil over medium, medium high heat. And Got then it. you dump those onions right. in there and you just start stirring. And this is going to take anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. And the house starts to smell, smell amazing. <laughs> so you just kind of keep stirring. You don't have to stir them constantly. You can leave them for a little bit, you know, go have a cup of coffee or a <laughs> glass of wine, whatever you want. And then, um, so after about 20, 30 minutes, they're going to really start to redu reduce down a little bit. You don't have to add anything to them, but I, of course, of course we love to does. amp up the flavor. So yes. what do I like to do? I like to add a little Worcestershire sauce. Just give it a few, three so splashes, good. maybe like a teaspoon of that. So good. And then if you have some sherry, some good quality sweet sherry, or just add that in. And it's, yeah. oh my God, it just deepens the flavor so well. So you could good. also so use good. Madeira, you could use Chardonnay, whatever you've got. Right. Or you don't have to do that. And then you just continue to cook it down until it reaches this golden, Look at those. Deep, deep, deep brown color. I could have gone even further. Yeah. They, I've, sometimes I've done it where they're really dark. And uh, But what that, they, they release their sugar and they create, that's why it's called caramelization. And it's just, oh, and I, should have said I also added just a hit of salt and oh, a little and bit of pepper. pepper. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then, like I said, you can do that way in advance, and then um, you're, you're, then you pull yeah. it out and you just and can reheat you, it. Like make a bunch of these and just keep them for the week and put them on like your burgers. Oh and gosh, stuff? yes. I and yes, and I recommend that. And we're gonna put this over here because we'll heat them up a little. We're bit. gonna put that on the stove and we're gonna reheat them. Okay. Yeah. So now these are just. <laughs> you, you probably have leftover dinner General. rolls, right? You have, but, but they couldn't fit into the title. <laughs> yes, and with dinner rolls. I mean, it was already like four paragraphs long, so we had to shorten it. So what we did, so, you know, of course, these are just dinner rolls. These are just yeah. good old little, cute little, but, you know, I love to get, we love them when they're nice and toasty. Again, you don't have to do this, but why not? Yeah. So what we do is, and, you know, you can do this in advance. I just get a, a cast iron skillet, get it kind of piping hot, put a little butter, butter on, on those, the, there's, yeah. and then just stick them right in there just so they get nice yeah, and toasty. Yeah, just a nice toast. And that's Perfect. What, and that, that's all you do to that's that. That's perfect. Okay, so and now. bad boys. Let's get Let's our Let's look at this pot roast. roast. I know. I just And you know what? I shouldn't have said that I like these better than the pot roast. I think I like them the same. Well, I know. <laughs> we say that and then we and then we eat Bring them. It over just a little bit. Okay. So, so Let's yes. do the big reveal. <laughs> Sorry. I'm always pushing always, it around. Oh my oh, gosh. Yes. You should have been like an airplane like one director before in another life. I feel like you should. Okay, now see how that is just Oh, it's so tender. Oh, it's wow. so gorgeous. I so now wait. This has already been we've already eaten part of this once. So now what I'm That's going to do, have I covered so everything? We're going to move this over here. I think we here. have. I think we talked about yeah, we have. Okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I, I've got a nice big piece of meat right here. I'm just going to bring this over. Now, and we're be very protected of that meat in front I of me. I know. And, and <laughs> the dogs, too. Believe me, the dogs are circling. Up. Okay, so it depends on how many of these uh, sliders that you're going to make, but we're going to do four. So yes. all you have, this is so easy. All you have to do is just uh, cut four pieces of meat. A Look how chunk. It's so tender. Okay. Oh Lord. That's a nice size piece right yes. there. That's a nice size piece, and well, that's, that's a nice a size big piece. piece. Mm, that's good and hot. That's okay. Wonderful. Hold on. Let me put these here. No, no, no. We don't do the buns yet. Remember, we we, oh, we cooked right. there. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's At least all right. one of us 
was thinking. <laughs> okay, so now well, what we have to do, I mean, you could put them on the buns first, but you don't want to over toast them. So now all we're going to do is we're just going to, oh, I am so excited about this. So now we are just going to put some of this beautiful baby Swiss that we got from Kroger. Yay, a little a private selection. Private selection. I love, I really do like their private selection. They've I got know. those amazing chips for the balsamic vinegar. Oh, they have, they have so many, they have an incredible selection. Love it. I, and it's not really private. That's what's so great about it. I mean, you can, you know. Okay, so now I have my oven set. It's already because of where I was um, preheating this. Yeah. So I'm going to put this in so this gets nice and melty for about five to ten minutes. It's going to give me time to heat up, reheat my onion. Oh, and heat the gravy that we also made. Yeah, we're going all and out gravy. on this. Okay. Can you believe that? Good gravy. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, we're okay. ready. We are ready. So look we're at these. We're ready to. Oh, those look these wonderful. Are these are sizzling, beautiful. Yay! Now this should be golden. Bring it on out. <gasps> Oh, those look, at that. look. I love that. I love that too. It's just drenched. I know. In it's cheese. like a pool of. Okay. <laughs> so now, I mean, these are these are not uh, for the faint of heart. These are good old. Uh -oh. oh, these are amazing sliders. Wonderful. Okay. So now, now I am going to. Oh yeah. I'm going to pour in some of this wonderful gravy that we just heated up. Each of us get a little for Duncan purposes. Oh, that's your leftover gravy. Now all of these recipes for the for the pot roast and for the mashed potatoes and for the gravy, mm -hmm. I've got links to all of them. So you know, uh, you don't worry about that. Okay. <laughs> now I love this is okay to hold. I want to show the. I love the placing <laughs> of the onions on this because I'm telling you guys, this these onions are what really put this over the top. I mean, everything about this sandwich is over the top. You think everyone can see that okay, Wesley? I think so. Pull back a little bit. There you go. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's, uh, there's going to be some letters. Yes. You're going to be writing home about this one, folks. <laughs> you're gonna just going to Y'all, you don't know what you're missing. Actually, you're going to find yes, out. Yes, exactly. You guys have got to make this. All right, easy. give me one of those bad boys. Yes. Here, I'm going to. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm going to show them right here, too. That is heaven. And I'm going to put it on my little, look at that cute, cute, there's a napkin, I know. plate of leftovers. That's that leftover is, heaven. Talk about reimagined. Yes. I mean, I, we've upped the ante. I mean, yeah. we've taken it and we've elevated. I love it. All right. You know what? First, I'm going to, oh, here's a fork. Oh, thank you. And I'm going to first just dig into one of these. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to do this. <laughs> Might as well just use my fingers. Oh. Aren't those so good potato cakes? My mom has made potato cakes for years. Her mom made them. I think everyone's mom made them. The, you know, she did them where you just mm. mash potatoes and flour and you know, you just Those brown. are delicious. Those are amazing. Those so, are amazing. So those are awesome. Okay. Yes, and the I can taste the cheese. The in cheese, there. I know. Yes. And, the, and the chives. Yeah. All right. And I the wanna, baking. I want to continue to eat that. But, I know. I know. I know. But you know. But what? let's let's. I mean, drum roll, please. Yes. The, ladies and gentlemen. I want you all just are, to take a look at that first. And then I'm gonna do this. It is incredible. I'm gonna dip it into my dip and my gravy. Oh, Chris, I think I went overboard. Well, oh. it wouldn't be the first time. Oh. oh my gosh. I just had a vision of <laughs> what you're experiencing, I think. Euphoria. <laughs> do not. You Attempt this <laughs> while driving. No, <laughs> save, save a little bit of that pot roast. If you have to hide it from the family, put a little bit. If you have to make two pot roasts. <laughs> yes. Wow. Because and those onions. I know. Isn't and then it? the Swiss cheese. All it's like a. And the dipping of the gravy. Y'all, y'all. <laughs> I'm in heaven right now. Oh. It is. It is. It is. And like, you know what else I am? Excited. What? Because these are 1,000, 1,000% Luna yeah. Proof. <laughs> oh my gosh, I had a sneaking suspicion. I mean, I just. I couldn't, I was like, wait a minute, I'm ex what, I'm, well, what else? Am I don't I? know what you are. You're, <laughs> I'll tell you what I am. I'm starving. Yes. <laughs> mm. Isn't it wonderful? Um, yeah. It's wonderful. <sighs> that should be. In mm. like the Hall of Fame of uh, sliders, mm -hmm. it should be in the Smithsonian. It's that record breaking. Yeah, yep. you guys, you have to make. Yes. This. Now you can get all of these recipes: the pot roast, the mashed potatoes, the leftover mashed potato cakes, the 
the leftover everything slider all on how to feed a loon.com that's right and you can go to Kroger to get that fabulous cheese that's right and if, and if you've been writing all of that down give your hand a rest <laughs> because now it's time to go to our social media like us share us do all of that stuff and um, oh I, I haven't tried this yet <laughs> <laughs> mm. I love how they're so, so potato -y, It's so good. But they're kind of like paint. Oh, they're yeah. so good. I love oh my them. gosh. Everything I love about them. this, I just, mm -hmm. I want to have a slumber party and eat these all <laughs> night long. So, guys, we love you. We love you so much. Have fun with yes. leftovers. Yes, we love you and stay safe and stay healthy. That's right. Mm -hmm. Slide on over and have a slider. <laughs> That's right. Boop, boop, ba doo. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody! Hi guys! Now if you want to be a part of the Loon Fun, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you won't miss a single recipe. That's right! Oh, and speaking of recipes, if you want another amazing recipe yeah. like this, then just click right here! Yeah, click! Click! Subscribe! It's so much fun! <laughs>